हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक ऑन नेस्ट मोमेंट चैनल गाइस आई एम राम किस सिंह यूनिटी गेम डेवलपर यूट्यूबर एंड ब्लॉगर सो फ्रेंड नाउ डेज वी आर डूइंग ट्यूटोरियल्स ऑन वर्चुअल रियलिटी एंड यू नो दैट वर्चुअल रियलिटी इज वेरी पॉपुलर नाउ डेज लाइक वी आर यूजिंग ऑकुलस क्वेस्ट टू एंड जस्ट एपल रिलीज एप्पल विजन प्रो सो दे आर सो मेनी स्टप गोइंग ऑन रिलेटेड टू वर्चुअल रियलिटी दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ऑकुलस क्वेस्ट थ्री यस currently we are using oculus quest 2 but meta announced that they are releasing oculus quest 3 in september so in this video i am going to share with you that as a developer what you should know and how you are going to get ready that what you are going to utilize new capabilities of oculus quest 3 so let's start the today video and if you new on the channel make sure subscribe the channel like the video and if you want to ask anything so just drop in the comment box or if you want to say anything so just write in the comment box so let's start the today video so friends if we are going on the oculus website so here you can see meta quest 3 so it is really very powerful i will explain that what are the new feature and here you can see this is the design pattern basically in the oculus quest 2 there was cameras but in this here you can see it is given on the front front and the controller are almost same but new with the new functionality okay and uh, is they have mentioned that this will be Uh, this will be 40% reduce in the hardware this will be 499 and if we are taking about indian rupees so you can say 14000 rupees 188 128 gb they have released one video you can see video from meta and they have just shown that what the new capabilities we are going to see and here is the documentation what they have given like uh, they are just wanted to inform us what we can expect and here you can see this is the oculus quest 2 this is the oculus quest 3 will be launched and this is the oculus pro so basically that development process will be almost same but they will just provide few features in their sdk like aculus quest sdk as well as in uh, our xr sdk and in this what we are expecting so here is the few things about that this meta quest 3 is a more powerful device at they are claiming it and it will be the most powerful feature in the meta quest 3 will be mr mr means mixed reality in the aculus quest to there is a mixed reality but that is not so much popular and that is not so much powerful but in oculus quest 3 it will be a very powerful means you will be able to use mr what is the mr mr means mixed reality means it will be a combination of virtual reality means uh, whatever you are uh, seeing in the environment virtually and uh, augmented reality means uh, uh, whatever you are interacting in the physical environment like you will put your uh, head controller on your head and you will be able to able to see the real environment and the virtual environment will be place so there will be two things virtual reality and augmented reality so that's called mixed reality okay and here is the price thing will be one 28 gb headset and what they are saying that it will be launched on the 27 september and here you can see they are saying that in the oculus quest 2 they and oculus quest pro so they will be just increase the cpu and gpu power and in the what percent so they have explained in the below okay here you can see important point now this is time for building and optimizing your existing m for this next phase of meta quest 2 meta quest system okay so means we are will able to expand our application like uh, there was some capabilities issue in oculus quest 2 but oculus quest 3 will just break will just break few capabilities so we will able to just 
create more congested environment okay and they will provide the latest update in those application so grow your business on most powerful headset ad. okay so they are talking about this and they are saying that the application from oculus quest 2 will be able to play in oculus quest 3 as well as on pro and they are sharing some revenue that how much money they have made from their store okay and here you can see there are few functionality like create deeper immerse immersion in vr so they are saying that oculus quest 3 will help you your titles look feel and perform better than ever ever thanks to significant increase the compute compute power pancake optics and new generation snapdragon so they have used the snapdragon that will totally increase the performance of gpu previous generation snapdragon gpu in quest 2 giving your apps user smoother experience with incredible crisp details and in quest 2 they have also used the previous generation in the quest 2 but in the quest 3 there will be more thing like touch plus controllers so there will be a more haptics thing like you will be able to perform your hand uh, to get to provide the input and soon i am going to prof provide you uh, provide you apple vision uh, development process but uh, today i want to cover about oculus quest 3 and other thing is that they have increased the uh, blend in real world to unlock new huge cases with mr so this is the mr stuff whatever i am saying to you that is the MR okay and there will be this thing like presence platforms pass through pass through means you will be able to see real environment see spatial anchor means you you will be able to perform uh, action on your games in real world and this is the update about quest 2 because they are just dropping the price and this price will be only reflect in those country where oculus is just providing their service in india it is not available so we can't take a benefit and here you can see in the cpu 20 percent performance increase increase in quest 2 and quest pro and in gpu up to 90 percent speed increase in, increase in oculus quest 2 and 11 percent on oculus quest so that will be really very helpful for us to create a more graphics application in unity okay and here you can see they are just saying you can optimize your experience on quest 2 and quest pro by using the dynamic resolution so it is not a new thing it is already it was already in oculus Quest sdk uh, but there is some condition in few condition you can apply okay but uh, there are some issue with this also because some application don't use uh, this feature so, and this is also depends that which graphics api you are using like it doesn't work with the opengl so this is the drawback of it okay and here you can see uh, this is the dynamic foveated rendering means uh, uh, this thing is also playing in apple vision they have also mentioned about foveated foveated rendering means uh, just it show the uh, show the center pass part in more detailing rather than the side because people in the lens what they see is center pass uh, center their focus is on mainly on the center so that will be uh, more uh, that will be in more detailing so this is the four awaited rendering or eye tracked four awaited so there are so many stuff you can read about it okay but main thing is that it is uh, just more accurate in the center and side is not that much planning your development across meta quest 2 headset developing appearance multiple generation quest headset lets you engage established audience on quest 2 and quest pro so they are just telling us that just design your application so that you can use your application on the quest 2 quest pro and quest 3 okay and they are also saying that you can you have to work on the but in the quest 2 there is not that much mr thing uh, there is a little bit MR thing so you cannot expect much but in the quest 3 there will be a lot so here you can see that there will be painting VR, Trav XR and presence okay and they have also shared the showcase means you can just download their project that how you can use uh, how you can use uh, how you can create the how you can create mixed reality application they have provide and what I am thinking is that you have to learn that how xr as well as how oculus sdk work as well as how ar foundation works because there will be also okay so they have given the link so this is the 
and they are they, they are also providing this sdk okay so this will be haptic sdk for unity and i think it have not been released that much it is in experimental but in the future you can get haptic sdk and haptic sdk means you will be able to if you are interacting in virtual environment so there will be some feel in your controller okay so both are the same experimental and here is the github so this is the unity discover means it is the sample project uh, they have integrated mr thing so you can just download and this will only work on the unity 2020 point means it should be above version of unity 2022 okay so you can just download and see what they have given so i will also try this thing okay so see you and hope this brief will help you that what's coming next for us meta world okay so i am very excited for the future because in the future there are two things is uh, going like ai world as well as meta world so i'm excited for both and as a developer you should also excited and you should learn because uh, things and world is very changing in very fast way so it will be a great if you are aware of everything okay so that's it and thanks for watching about good day see you in next video and in next video i am going to talk about i am going to talk talk about uh, apple vision i am going to talk about apple i am going to talk about apple vision pro and i will talk about the development process so many things are coming and apple was working with the unity from last two years so there are so much exciting thing is coming for us so i am excited and what you are thinking just let me know in the comment box and bye bye take care see you in next video